<laughs> so we can see with Carla, she's got too much of a curve in her thoracic spine here. So we call it hyper kyphotic, which means she's slouching too much. She sits at a computer all day. So everything's going forward, her head, her shoulders, and this is all coming back this way. Cut that all out. Cut. One more. Good. Okay, so I have horrible posture and I saw a TikTok of this girl saying to help like open this up, you're supposed to take a towel and go like this and like I literally it is beyond painful right here. So I realize that I hunch over all day. Like this isn't even a desk chair that I sit in. I'm sure a lot of us are looking at our phones 24 seven and don't realize how bad our posture is. And some of us may have developed a little hump in the back of our neck. This can also be just from excess fat in the back of our neck, but it can also be from bad posture. So if you are struggling with a little hump in the back of your neck, I got you. The first thing is our posture. We cannot sit like this 24 seven and just have our necks bending down. That is bad. Let's go. Got me over here holding my head back. Make sure. Yeah. <laughs> like, let me stop. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but it's something so simple, so small that you don't pay attention to it over the course of life, right? And we don't pay attention to the fact that, you know, once you're able to walk, you ain't realizing that you are literally going against gravity. You're always having some type of pressure pushing you down, right? Mm -hmm. So, one of the things that I had, uh, well, before I go into my spiel, what do y'all think about uh, the importance of proper posture? Uh, have you emphasized it in your in your day to day? Is it something that you changed up or realized that you had to improve on? What happened with you guys? Um, I'll start off. I would say this year I invested in going to the chiropractor. Um, for this very reason. And it's just yes. because um, I, I'm used to being active, like at my job and everything. But the last two and a half years, I've had pretty much a computer position. And it's just like the girl in the video said, like, I, you know, it's boring inside the office and you get bored and then you just <laughs> slouch, bro. You just slouch, not realizing it's messing up your posture. And then when I went to the chiropractor, he told me my shoulders were too far forward. Mm. So that, that made me like wake up like, all right, before this gets any worse, let me work on my posture. Let me continue to come to the chiropractor. They can work on me. And he told me really, you know, we do a lot of push ups. Uh, you go to the gym, you want to do bench press every time you go there. Yeah. He told me to do more pulling exercises instead of pushing exercises because mm -hmm. the pushing is causing my shoulders to come forward. My shoulders are too far forward. So um, I'm, I'm trying to actively, uh, work on doing more pull exercises and uh being cognizant whenever i'm sitting down period in a chair or anything just to keep keep my posture straight because i don't like you trey i don't want to be that person with a hunchback i want to be uh live long and look good and move move well for as long, for as, long as possible because you know when you stop moving that's when you know that's when you die yeah that's when you die man i don't want to i don't want to have no challenges going up no steps I don't want to have to worry about, you know, none of that, man. Mobility is everything. What about you, Paul? Oh, man, shoot. Um, uh, this guy, Trey, call, talk about posture all the time. So <laughs> he talk about it so much. I would, I would walk around and I'll catch myself walking like this. And I'll be like, hold on, man. Let me go ahead, poke the chest out, shoulders back, um, head up. And um, mm -hmm. I've really been focusing on walking um, and the feeling of having good posture. Like when you sit up a certain way or when, you know, we don't understand the psychological aspect of when we have the right alignment in our body, how that can help us feel a lot better too. 
Yeah. And so um, I never did. I never went to a chiropractor, but I did do physical therapy because of the car accidents I was in. Mm-hmm. Um, and when I went to physical therapy, they gave me a lot of exercise as far as like just working on your mobility. Like they did the little mm-hmm. resistance band that kind of helped with like getting your chest and everything open. Um, they gave me some good exercises, so I do a lot of those exercises at home to kind of help with my posture to make sure my posture is right. Um, but it's something that's still a work in progress for me to be honest, because it's so easy for me to get in a chair and just just do this. You know what I'm just saying? Slouch, like, yeah. It, it's it's so easy for me. So that's something I'm still working on as well too. Yo, what's up, FML Mob? What's good, yo? Hey, I want to thank y'all for all the subscribers that we got. We clicked over 100 subscribers, but we looking, man, we need more support. So y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button at the bottom. Make sure you like the uh, videos and keep showing that support. Y'all take care. Man, I'll tell you, uh, that was one of the things. I went to the chiropractor as well. And for the longest I've had, like, I always just had a dip in my walk. I just thought it was swag, you know, smooth. (laughs) No black people got that, you know, that charisma. So I'm like, I got it. You know what I mean? Um, And they told me, no, you you are like this. Your spine is like this. (laughs) Your left side is longer than your right side. Like, what? Can I interject right there, Trey? Yeah. To to Paul's point about the, you know, your spine being unlevel. Uh, I'm gonna pre-pause this. Uh, I'm pre-pause this uh, statement. I had, I had, y'all know, I had my surgery on my Achilles last year, um, and you know, so my walk was funny for a little bit then, and as I was covering this a little bit funny as I'm getting used to um, using this uh, limb again properly. But yeah. the, the main thing they do when I go to the chiropractor <laughs> is they push. Not being funny, they push one of my ass cheeks. Yeah, you know, kind of down and like. Because my legs are uneven too, so I I get what you're saying when you um when you say that. Yeah, um, man, <laughs> Lord, and uh, I'm looking at the comments. Um, <laughs> but that's definitely for real, man. Like it's it's so real, and it's so like once I went to the chiropractor and I learned more about posture, I learned more about the simple, mundane, day to day tasks things that we are doing on the autopilot that we're not paying attention to. Once I started paying attention to that stuff, I was like, yo, (laughs) it's like, why don't we all know this? So I really want to go further into this discussion, but I'm going to pass it off to my fitness fitness coach, man. Uh, One thing I do know is I learned the importance of form. You need form more so than you need the amount of reps or the the amount of weight that you can lift and stuff. So I know you can preach to that, G. What's your uh, take on having proper posture and longevity in the right form? Um, I mean, y'all hit on the head. I, the most important um muscle, I believe, is going to be your back. Uh, mm-hmm. Your back holds you upright. And, um, you know, keeps you in line. There's a lot of people, just like he said, a lot of people just care about your chest and your push-ups. That's wonderful. But after a while, you do get that little hunchback and you yeah. being on these. And then you combine it with being on computers and cell phones, like y'all already said. Mm. It's, it's getting worse and worse in time because, I mean, everybody has a phone glued to their hands. And after a while, you, your, 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 your body is like muscle memory. So whatever you keep doing yeah. is going to want to gravitate to the same thing that you're doing all day. It's just automatically going to go to that point. It's just how our bodies are wired. So if you're always bent over, and you can mm. even not have your phone on, but you'll automatically be bent over again, not even have your phone because your body is so used to doing that over and over again. And uh, one of the most crucial muscles that, well, there's a bunch of them in there, but it's a crucial muscles that a lot of men don't like to work and i'm gonna say pause now because i know y'all might hear the pause it's pause it's but the ass it's the glute thing it's it sure is yeah it's your ass, your glutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is man i'm trying to tell you there's a reason no pause yeah, is important it's, it's very important and <laughs> I, I i take i mean I, I may not upload them and i may not show a lot of them which i really need to i'm gonna start getting, getting to that more because with me and my lady, we that's one of the number one exercises we do. You have to do more glute training. 
Yeah. Your glutes is a, is a second part of your body that actually holds your – it holds almost everything up. You may not realize it because you just don't walk around with your ass cle- cheeks just clenched. Clenched, shit. you know what I mean? But, yeah. <laughs> but what it does is your lower back, your glutes, and all your mm-hmm. upper back, everything on your backside, it keeps you up. It keeps you standing up. So people that right. have strong lower backs and strong <laughs> glutes – they're able to walk longer. They're able to, to stand upright. They they prevent later on in life having to have a cane and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't know yeah. why guys don't. It's it's weird. I don't understand how you think everybody has the same body. I don't know why you think you just have to work out a couple parts. You have to work out your legs and your glutes. All yeah. that stuff is is something that you should work on. So you want to have good posture. Uh, uh, like um Trey said, you need to have more um. More foam with your back exercises. Mm-hmm. More, um, you ain't got to do so many deadlifts and all that. I know it's cool. Everybody want to deadlift and all that stuff, hey. but be, please be careful. Yeah. <laughs> please, please yeah. be careful. I don't deadlift. This is I get critiqued all the time because I do not deadlift. The most <laughs> I do is maybe a rack pull. The difference between a rack pull and a deadlift is just basically maybe a, a foot in between. I start with lifting up the bar where my knees are instead of all on the floor. It's just too dangerous for me, man. I don't get it. I don't get why people do it. Hey, if you want to be cool, but honestly, you there's the rack pull and other exercises is gonna get the same kind of effect as the dead dead lift. Okay, so I that's a whole other story. Y'all do what y'all want to do. I don't, y'all <laughs> I don't. I don't think deadlifts are a natural like body movement anyway. Like anyway. <laughs> We, and my job, we, train, nice. we, we train our drivers to never bend your back. You you bend at your knees to keep yep. your back, your back. So like mm-hmm. you said, the the rack pull or the rack lift or whatever you said, the hip. I like mm-hmm. the hip. Yes, that hip thrust. You gotta do them hip thrust too. You know, get up <laughs> and down. Yes, <laughs> yes. That's what you do. Yes, that's what. Yes, that's what you do. That's for real pause. So I really yeah, I know you do them. <laughs> you got to do them, man. But yeah. there is videos. I got plenty of videos of me going, doing calisthenics and doing bridges. I do one leg bridges. I do with kettlebells. I, I You see videos of it. Pause. But you got to do it. I mean, it, it, you have to have your body in line. I don't want one part of my body lagging. I don't want everything going at one point. So I don't right. care. Y'all got to maybe go to the gym at 2 o'clock in the morning so nobody see you doing the abductor machine <laughs> and doing the and doing the um like the bridges and everything if that makes y'all feel better i don't care i go with five times <laughs> a day i don't care what y'all got right. to say i want to take care of my body I don't care. Care. exactly being there like uh, so, Nutty, hey. being there like any professor when he turned to buddy love he was in there oh yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> Get it in. <laughs> I'll be doing it, no I'll do it proudly too. No, I don't <laughs> cut my six cents. You know what I mean? Hey, you hey, gotta hey. do what you gotta do. And just a tip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just the fact to hear I think women like ass more than men. So when you get your ass right, you get more attention. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna take, I'm gonna take your word for it, Trey. I'm gonna take your no, word. Man. no, no, but Trey, right though, like you, you, you right, uh, I don't, they do got a fascination with that for whatever reason, man. Yeah. Absolutely, the same reason that we do. I don't know their reasoning. You right. Um, <laughs> 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 and no, I got, I got, and real quick, I got a question for G. Yeah, yeah. If you don't, so with the with the form, and we talked about how important the form is. When you don't have proper form, that can lead to like injuries and lead to like longer term effects and everything like that, right? Very much. I mean, there's mm. so, so many videos that made people that may not be posting, but you can look for them. I mean, slip discs. You can yes. you can tear up. I mean, it it. it when you do a deadlift, you're pulling so much. Your your lower back is but so strong. It's, it's just it's a strong piece of body, uh, um, muscle on the body. Don't get it wrong, but when you're putting two, three hundred, four hundred pounds on that stress and not like he said, not bending your knees or anything like that, there's so much pressure on that one muscle that it can just snap like it's anything. And then you don't have proper technique because honestly, shine. Get, get your, your shine, shine on. on. Get your shine on, shout it. Yeah. Hey, so, hey, I put this on, I put it on everywhere. Huh. Put yeah. the cheeks, 
<laughs> kneecaps, underarms. I got the vanilla right here. Usually, hey, I got the um, I got the lavender ones. I, it, it helped me smell, sleep good because I be sleeping like this, and I yeah. can smell it off my hands. I'm trying to tell you, feeling good. Y'all better rock with this. Right. It's that vanilla. Yeah. To men, we ain't being ashy no more. Mm -hmm. Hygiene. Yeah. Hygiene is important. Mm -hmm. You need to get your shine. It's hydrating. Mm -hmm. It's light. It lasts all day. You don't got to use a lot, and it's good from face to foot. Historically, I don't really use lotion or nothing like that because I'm like in a hybrid, light skin, in between dark skin, motherfuckers. <laughs> coming, coming back from vacation, coming back from vacation, I'm a little sunburnt, so I needed something to get me my skin back right because I'm feeling like a reptile right now. So I'm gonna get this baby going on when I get home. Oh, and look, you gotta shine on everybody. Shine. This is, and look, I got like four cases. I got a bunch of cases. And I got the big jaw too. That's yeah. old school. Y'all don't even know about that. He don't even got those no more. But look, I'm telling y'all, this shine is amazing. Help with eczema, you know, clear your skin up, all of that great stuff. So you don't want to miss out on this shine, man. Make sure y'all go get y'all a bottle of this. All natural ingredients. Absolutely. Yeah, man. where they can find it? So you can find this at shinecareproducts.com. Let them know that we sent you. Use the code FMF20. Get you a discount. Got to. Might get some flack on it, but the deadlift was originally an Olympic move, move right. for the Olympics is to show how strong certain individual were, individuals were. That's a small percentage of our population who can lift something like that. Now it's being publicized like it's a movement that everybody that needs to do it, and it's getting to a point where people don't even know how to do the the movement in the right technique where they're hurting yourself. And like I said before, it's not even needed. It's just to show, honestly, it's a show that you can lift up something. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Hey, right. dude, dude. I mean, it's just not really that. Dudes that be in the gym doing deadlift be showing off, like they be dropping mm -hmm. it, making the most noise. Yeah. They be, you know, my they be, having oh, belt. They be putting the belt on around yeah, them and yeah, stuff. The belt, uh, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. They got the spaghetti scrap tops and stuff. Yeah. Like, you yeah, ain't got, got it. Wrong. I, you ain't got exactly. I'm not one of them dudes. Yeah, y'all talk. I'm not one of them dudes. I can't stand them dudes. The baby oiled up in the string tops and the, and, the, and, the, and the shorts all the way up yeah, to the yeah. all up to the gills, and then they got the they got the chalk on. They throwing the chalk in the air and they got I said, bro come on let's lift it lift it bro lift it got the wrist it. Wrist it. Wrist it. <laughs> yeah bro like calm Must down make that serious bro but that's a yeah that's a, it is that's a good point that's a good point though g about the um about your back because everybody i know that had like a you know, you can come back from maybe back spasms or anything like that. Those are temporary. Mm. But if you, if you have a disc, back injury, if you slip with this, like or anything like that, like you pretty much just you you on a you on a um, borrow time. You on borrow time, man. So everybody, at least everybody I know with a back injury. My dad slipped the disc like back in his twenties when he was playing ball and carrying DJ equipment, and he he has never been able to get back right. You know, a hundred percent. So. I'm telling you, man, it is so pivotal. And it is uh the back is one of the biggest organs that we have and is one of the uh, is one of the most vital, if not the most vital. Your feet and your back are your foundation, and those are the two things that you need for proper posture. Um my chiropractor, I told her that we was gonna have this discussion and she gave me a few points to make out uh for all of you who are listening. She said that uh, you want to focus on angles. So if you're at a desk, if you work at home, you want to want you want to have your elbows and your knees at ninety degree angles, you know, and and emphasize mobility. Don't just stay there. Uh, if you have a screen, you don't want it high, but you want it just above eye level, <laughs> so that your neck is yeah. more straight instead of you like this or you know like because after months of this you start to get like this and like you said this muscle memory your body gets adjusted to it and uh one of my lines now is posture through the pain because what i do for work is i literally walk all day i'm walking 10 hours a day you know um all day, don't matter how much orthopedics, it doesn't matter what you, what, it doesn't matter. If you walk in 10 hours a day, you're going to feel pain in your feet, right? Mm -hmm. I never thought that I could get calluses on my feet. I always knew it was in the hands, but I never knew that you could get calluses on the feet. Mm -hmm. uh, 
one of the things that I found out was, uh, for one, how important uh, footwear is. I'm much more appreciative of Skechers nowadays. <laughs> I was you know like, what I, with I see that they are you literally made for comfort, you know, literally made I, for comfort I, and longevity. I don't know. Joel and B just got an endorsement with sketches. <laughs> My brother's like, they could fall off. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, like now I do yoga and I do yoga because it's a necessity. So the more flexible you are, the less likely you are to become injured. Right. Um, mm -hmm. And just focusing on these things. So after I was doing all of this walking, I was like, oh, man, my feet hurt. And then I figured out, you know, footwear, insoles and inserts and stuff like, OK, then it was like, OK, well, now my legs hurt, you know, and then my knees hurt. And you realize that it starts at the feet. Then it hits the legs, the calves, the hamstrings, the knees. Now it's hitting your hips. Now it's hitting your back. Once it's at your back. That's a whole different issue. So a lot of people don't realize this progression that you can fix by just having proper posture, learning how to walk, you know, correctly, mm -hmm. learning how to walk correctly. Like, like most people either use like you see people, they walk on their tippy toes or they walk on their heels. They don't use the whole foot. You're supposed to use the whole foot when you walk. They don't emphasize uh, like with my knees. I realized that I scoot a lot. So I like my my feet don't lift off of the ground as high as they need to be for me to be bending my knees as I walk. So my knees was, you know, I'm walking 10 hours a day. Why do my knees hurt? Because I'm not actually using them. Mm, yeah, you can get orthopedic shoes. I'm, I'm, I do use specific shoes for uh, foot, proper footwear for the type of job that I do. Like, if you're at a warehouse, you'll wear steel toes. They don't got to be Nike. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, what's good, everybody? It's the FML mob right here. Yes, we got sir. the finance. We got the mindset. We got the fitness. Goodness. And we want to shout out the lab. Uh, this place is uh, owned by James. And this guy, man, he opened up this spot to us. It's an amazing place, man. It got exposed brick. You can kind of look in there and see a little bit. You got the DJ equipment, everything you need to get your photograph needs, podcast, yep. uh, anything you can think of, man. And this part is spot, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they do the party. Yeah. And the spot, yeah. recreational All type spot. It's a great location right here in Richmond, in the Churchill area, yep. for you to be able to come together, put your parties, assemble all that type of stuff together, and just come and check it out. Plus, it's black owned. Absolutely. Yes. Black yes. owned. So support your people. We definitely, FMF, support the lab. We love the lab. Yes. All right. I'll take care. And, uh, yeah. My bad, Trey. Not not just not just shoes. You can for the shoes you have already, you can buy insoles. Yeah. Um, insoles for them. Yeah. I, I, to this day, I still wear my orthopedic insoles from my surgery. And yes, man. Yeah. Yes. I take the insoles yeah. out my Jordans and everything. Like. <laughs> Facts <laughs> though, for real. You're rocking the orthopedic soles in the Jordans. Yeah, in the Jordans. <laughs> I know that's In the right. Jordans is a play. When I learned these things, I did the same thing for a lot of them, Keys. I did the same thing. I changed up uh, the insides. The inside is what matters. Um, and how I walk, paying attention to how I walk. And one, one of the things that was really pivotal now is hip strength. Like 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 y'all mentioned earlier, we don't really emphasize strengthening the hips or working out the hips. And uh, I want to talk about this in the sexual education video that we'll do. But a man who doesn't use his hips has a weak stroke. Uh, if you if you don't use your hips, you <laughs> if you don't use your hips, uh, you're limiting the mobility in your back. And with that limited mobility, if you're not using this, it's true that if you don't use it, you lose it. Right. So a lot of people have to have hip replacements. Well, if you was using the one that you had, <laughs> you would need it to be replaced. You know, like this is just for you to be in your comfort where you are now. Like, no, you need to push through it. You might have to feel some pain. 
it's cool. You're going to be uncomfortable. It's cool. But you got to start scratching. You got to get your yoga in. I get yoga in because yoga, you can uh, you can specify and target certain areas, right? So I, I do yoga more so than just, you know, rudimentary scratching. And then, uh, yeah, man, uh, I, I also read a book, right, that studied the evolution of where we are now and where we're going to be in, like, the next 20 years or so. And it showed a picture of, like, since we're so addicted to the streams, to the screens, most of us are hunched over, so it becomes, I don't know how evolution, this sticks in your DNA, man. So I see more kids, you know, kids are being born with spinal uh, malfunctions and, and, you know, all of that, man, born with no neck and all of that stuff. Like, it, it it's taking an effect on a generation that's not even here yet. <laughs> <laughs> right it is like like i don't want humans to ne- like now you look like the little john from uh the hobbit and they're they gonna, like they gonna look like this <laughs> yeah with a little you know little grubby fingers and stuff like you look like something out of stephen king movie you know what i mean like you don't want that and all of that could be fixed with uh not only learning more about proper posture uh, the importance of your spine. All of this is alignment with your spine. We are literally just a vertebrate in a brain. The body, the rest of the body is just the casing. But all of us, we are like all of the nerves and stuff is all aligned with the spine. Everything you feel, everything you think, everything that happens with you, all of this is just the brain and the spine. <laughs> <laughs> so like learning these things i was like yeah let me take this more seriously i learned uh sleep postures you know uh certain sleep postures that work for me um why you snore you know because your 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 air your airways are constricted and stuff like that man i learned so much stuff just about posture and i could see the longevity in it I see where uh, there's people who there's people who was on a trajectory of like, man, I might have to get a surgery. And I'm like, do you want a surgery? No. I then do this instead. And now it's like they forgot that they was even in the trajectory of having to get a surgery. Like you look, you're much more limber, much more flexible, much more capable you know, like literally all of this flexibility is for your joints, like your elbows, your wrists, your fingers, oh, everything that must bend on you. you oh, know. snap. <laughs> <laughs> everything that must bend on you <laughs> needs to continue. Like you need that to be well lubricated, you know, uh, no pause. And you just got to be able to keep on moving keep on moving man so that's the importance of posture and and proper posture we need if you want longevity and you don't want to be hunched over you don't want to have any surgeries you know you don't want big pharma to you know capitalize on your body then it's as simple as acknowledging acknowledging your posture knowing right from wrong about it uh, going to see somebody like a chiropractor it has been a game changer for me uh, and and learning the simple things, you know, like how to walk, you know, what's being affected, the processes of stuff, man. It, it, we've been going for a minute because I could keep on going, but it's really important, man. Yeah. I just want to drive that home. That's what's, up. That's what's up, man. But this is, this is an important topic for us to discuss, man, and Shout out to Trey. So as y'all can see, Trey is very knowledgeable about this. So y'all make sure y'all hit Trey up, especially the yoga stuff. He got some great yoga tips. But we got our fitness trainer, our yeah. health our health expert, uh, Anthony Giovanni, man. If you want to learn more about the proper exercises to get your body in alignment, um, to get your body looking good, the flexibility, all of that type of stuff, man. Y'all hit up uh, 
Mr. Giovanni over here, man. He got the workouts and everything to, to make sure he gets y'all right. So uh, yes, we're about to get load up and get into our next discussion. But while G is loading up that video, man, <laughs> any final thoughts? Um, my my final thought or a little tip for the people listening. Um, <laughs> if you have a problem in one area of the body, get it looked at and get it handled immediately. Don't wait mm -hmm. for it to heal on its own or whatever, because when a part of your body is, is hurt, the other parts of your body are going to overcompensate and try to, you know, make up for the weakness of that body part. And in turn, they'll put more stress on those body parts and then you will be all all fucked up, like all over. So just if you have a problem, get it looked at right away. Don't let it lead to more problems. Don't wait. <laughs> <laughs> this dude. Hey, he caught hey, it. I had to pause. That was crazy. <laughs> 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 it's fun. <laughs> Yo, hey, we